Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my World of Warcraft brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone is doing well. Holy crap, we're getting even more news from Blizzard. That's right, we are. Is there something... What isn't there to do in this game? And I know we've had some kerfuffle because people just are miserable and some people just can never be happy. But World of Warcraft has found itself in a very unique uh, position to where, not like back in yonder day, for those of us who've been playing for 14 plus years, when we had giant content droughts that would last 10 months, 16 months, I mean, it would last forever. Now we don't have that. Now our plate is almost practically full. <laughs> There's so much to do in this game. Uh, retail, WoW Classic, WoW Classic Hardcore, WoW Season of Discovery, and Plunderstorm, and now, coming up, that's right, a brand new mode, the PvE mode that people have been asking for since Plunderstorm came out. Friends, we are going back to Mist, the Pandaria. We're gonna go play with some pandas in WoW Remix. That's right, WoW Remix is coming. It is coming soon, I'm, I'm assuming, yes. So what is WoW Remix? Well, let's get into it right now. World of Warcraft Remix is a time-limited event which allows players to re-experience the ent entirety of Mist the Pandaria expansion at a very accelerated rate from level 10 through 70. All loot has been completely overhauled and has powerful new effects, allowing players to shape their experience, power up, and power on. The features include as follows, accelerated leveling, which is good, because when Mr. Pandaria first came out, leveling took so freaking long. They even admitted it near the end of the uh, expansion that they were a bit too heavy-handed with how much experience you needed to actually level. That was a grind. So I'm glad we're not going to have to do this. We're going to be leveling so stinking fast, it's not even funny. So what do you have to do? You have to create a brand new WoW a remix character starting at level 10 to adventure through the event up to level 70. And there's going to be a mountain of loot. You get powerful items from everywhere. Quests, chests, creatures, bosses, all the things, dead pandas, everything. Customizable items allowing you to power up as far as you can go to take on tougher content. Which begs the question, the end game of this, how tough is that content going to be where, to where we are like gods and we might still struggle? And if there's unwanted items, you can take it and vendor it in for bronze which can be used to upgrade items or purchase cosmetics and they said keep what you collect when this event is over take your collection of transmogs with you into the war within and not just that you get to take your character over as well so if you've been dying to create an alt i guess now is the time to get ready to do that kind of stuff so who is this available for? Well, just like Plunderstorm is available to, well, everyone who has a subscription to World of Warcraft. You're going to have to download uh, the current retail client on everything, but as long as you have a subscription, there's nothing else to buy, not much else to do, just download Dragonflight and all that jazz, and you're going to get right into the game just like you did with Plunderstorm. So what do you have to do? Is it available to everyone? Well, yes, it's just like Plunderstorm. It's available to everyone who is paying a subscription to World of Warcraft. The only thing you have to do is download the Modern WoW client, and that's it. You're in. You are good to go, and all that jazz. So as you can see here, we're going through the different zones. Jade Forest is 10 through 70. You can do all that fun jazz here. We're going to go relive some of the dungeons, the scenarios. I'm looking forward to going back to Theramal, Theramore's Fall. That's going to be fun. Valley of the Four Winds. 20 to 70, you can do that. That's awesome. And he also, of course, you have all the dungeon right there. Kunlai Summit, 25 to 70. Townlong Steeps, down to 30 or 30 to 70. And, of course, you have the 35 to 70 in the Dread Waste. 40 to 70 in Veil of Eternal Blossoms. 45 to 70 in the Isle of Giants. And Timeless Isle, which is going to be fun. And 50 to 70 in the Isle of Thunder. And 60 to 70, we can go do Siege of Orgrimmar. It's going to be great. And 70 heroic raids within this new mode. So just like with Plunderstorm, it's, you're going to log on. And then you're going to see... Uh, World of Warcraft Dragonflight, and then you're going to see, like we do in Plunderstorm, another selection for you to do. That's going to be there. You're going to do your thing in that, and once you click it, you are off to the races. And with this, is we're going to get tons of loot. They're kind of doing like what a Diablo 4 model is. No matter what you kill, boss, uh, enemies here and there, 
you're going to get a ton of loot and so they that's on purpose they want you to get the loot get stronger what you don't need yeah you can vendor but you can vendor for the new currency bronze to upgrade all your things and buy more cos cosmetics there and this also gives you a great opportunity to go get brand new mounts which you'll see in just a little bit because a lot of them are reskinned and recolored mounts and, and one in particular looks uh, freaking amazing so we're also going to be getting gems in this and they say here are just some examples of the type of gems you might find we're not going to go through every single one but these so these are awesome especially life storm which it says equip e to equip or equip it and summon a storm call down five bolts of lightning every one second each bolt inflicts 25,885 nature damage to an enemy within 30 freaking yards. You know how far that is in an MMO? That is crazy, crazy damage. That's pretty cool. They say during the storm, three flowers grow around the caster. After five seconds, the flowers bloom, restoring 388,000 health and granting 1,720 haste to allies for 10 seconds that is awesome and then you have the thundering orb which is going to transform you into a thundering orb inflicting na nature damage to enemies again within 30 yards over four seconds while you are a thundering orb orb damage taken is reduced by 50 percent and movement speed is reduced by 70 percent and you are immune to loss of control effects now when it comes to your other gems here you're going to get the lower grade one hell storm great band cold front wildfire it's just there's so much to go there's all the things it's going to be great and you have the cogwheel gems as well like blink tells teleports you forward 10 yards or until reaching an obstacle and frees you from all stun effects and bonds you know what this kind of reminds me of it kind of has like a very retail season of discovery vibe to it that's pretty much how i feel this is going to be going to be just with pandas and another great thing we're going to get, my friends, is the Cloak of Infinite Potential. You'll also be able to earn an artifact cloak that gains permanent power increases as you play. And here, this is really cool. Power you earn on your strongest character is shared with your alts, which created for an event to make leveling even faster. So... So if you're, you, for some reason, plan on doing more alts in this, they're, they're benefiting from what you first did, and that is great, and that is awesome. I'm kind of feeling like they are test th These, off obviously, these events, these modes are testing. They're, they're doing tests in the background for stuff. And I kind of feel like they're doing war within testing on this to see how certain systems, maybe behind the scenes, work. And I'm all for this. I say keep testing, Blizzard. Keep testing. And as they continue on, they say earn titles, a variety of transmogs, previously unreleased color variants of older mounts, and more simply by completing WoW Remix Miss Pandaria specific achievements during the Remix event. These achievements will become feats of strength when the event ends. And this, this is what I'm talking about. This is the golden dragon color right here. This thing is sexy, and I am here for it. So now we're just going to talk a little bit more about the bronze currency that's there. And like this, like they're saying here, there is no bad drop. Every drop of loot that you get, you can turn into bronze, which will also allow you to purchase upgrades. And this is the best part, World of Warcraft account bound cosmetics. They said head to a bazaar in any zone to purchase everything from class transmogs to Miss of Pandaria mounts, toys, and more. This allow this will allow players to purchase items that were previously unavailable to obtain or difficult to obtain as random drops by simply spending new currency to add them to their accounts collection. Now I played Miss of Pandaria, and honestly, it's probably one of my favorite expansions we've had in a very long time. It's a very strong expansion, I, I truly believe. Uh, but this is awesome. There are still some mounts and stuff I do not have, and I have not been able to collect yet. And I love the fact that we are able to go back in and have maybe an easier chance to get these things. I am a somewhat completionist, but I love soloing all the older raids and stuff. And of course, we're always going for the mount or for the transmog stuff. And now we're going to have an opportunity for us to be able to get it faster and to buy it. Because there you go. And also coming with 1027, is they say continue the story in the Dragonflight as the Dark Heart content update. 1027 ushers in the final chapter of the expansion and sets the stage for the war within. I see nothing wrong here. I love this. We're going to be chasing items. We're going to be chasing mounts, chasing achievements, and we're just going to be blazing through this content. 
and going mad crazy. I think the raids and even the dungeons, the scenarios, but the dungeons more specifically, oh, obviously the raids, are going to be freaking insane. And I love that. So this this should wet the whistle for all the PvE people out there who did not want to do Plunderstorm, which is fine. You don't have to do it. That's a great thing with these modes. You don't have to do them. I know the completionists out there will say, yes, I do. I must FOMO over everything. Yeah, true. But still, at the end of the day, you don't have to do it. But I hope you do. And I hope this is just as successful as Plunderstorm seems to have been. Uh, it's definitely not as divided as Plunderstorm was. Where you had 50% of the community like, ew, no. And then you had the other 50% that's like, plunder all the things. That you're, it's, you're just not going to win everyone over. And that's fine. You don't need to. Just go and have fun. That's what games are all about. Have fun. And I will be having tons of fun when Miss of Pandaria Remix comes down the pipeline. Let's do this. Let's go, my friends. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on all this stuff. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. Why don't we? Let's do it, baby. And of course, make sure you hit the, the like button. The more likes we get, the more the algorithm likes us. Make sure you share it and hit the bell notification button as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Become part of the family here in Boomy Nation, the freak show YouTube, the black sheep of gaming. And don't forget, my friends, it's about community and be kind. And don't forget to spay and neuter your pandas. And we'll see you later, my friends. Good day.